chill computer guy we are here in reason 9.1 i'm taking a little break from the bitwig studio me and the bitwig studio we're not getting along too well um but i have a quick tip now this week has to do with the great thing about reason is the ability to route just route stuff now i recommend starting out with bass and drums or chords and melody but don't try to do all four at once you'll like uh you'll go crazy you'll never finish a song we're working on uh bass and drums basic drums basic bass just trying to see if we can get something to kind of see if we can kind of stir it up and get like a little hook something i create what i call a a rough mix and to do that i take my redrum okay and i route that into a 14-2 mixer and so I'll run normally my uh, my kick or bass drum, depending on what genre you're from, in, in slot one. Pretty much everybody does. Now, when it comes to side chaining, use a spider audio merger. And what they will do is they'll just basically spider that channel one into, in this case, the 14-2 mixer. And then take, and then you have, a, you know, take this and then put it into more spiders. And then just kind of spider number four into number one, number four into number one, number four into number one. And then the next thing you know, you got like 12 side chain outputs, you know. So you've basically taken channel one and branched it off 12 times. One of those goes back into the mixer and the other 11 will go out to your mix channels. That's normally how a lot of people do it. This is kind of a new thing that I have looked at that I've been using lately. And that is with your 14.2 when you got your soft mix is taking uh, auxiliary auxiliary four in this case because when i am doing my soft mix i like to put maybe a reverb a delay maybe some saturation so my first three oxes i can use for that but my fourth ox what i do is i run that into my spider and then that will eventually run into the mix channel now by doing that you can control the amount of the signal right here whatever whatever part of your of the, your percussion you're working on you can side chain those individually run them through individual auxiliaries and then run those auxiliaries into your mix channel or you could spider those back together and then side chain every little sound that is coming out of your 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 drum chain that's another option but the thing about this is it's it's very user friendly it's very optional and it's very easy to route your stuff to all your channels now a lot of people don't like side chaining on the ssl compressor because they feel it's too limited you got your ratio your threshold your release um no attack but if you click on this fast it basically there's two attacks there's a fast attack if this is lit up and then there's a normal auto attack you know if you want a fast attack you click that if it's off then you have a normal attack the thing is is you can key this from the back of the mix channel with now if you're new to reason you'll see that you can side chain right into this mix channel and then this key will light up now you can turn it off and that will block your side chain signal but if it's lit up now when you go to that mix channel base in this case you'll see that key is lit up here and then this is your compressor so basically this is your side chain signal right in to your ssl mixer which is super convenient because you can take that and with using your spider uh, mergers you can route those into every single channel of your mix and the thing is is i'm coming out of that auxiliary and i can control the amount of the side chain signal right here so let's go ahead and play this you can see as i pull this back no side chain if I crank it all the way open, tons of side chain. So you kind of got to find a sweet spot, but the great thing is that's routed right into the key there. And then when you go into your mixer, it's right there. So you can control your, you know, your ratio threshold. Again, you got to find a sweet spot. And again, I always recommend, uh, you know, uh, soloing. Solo your bass channel so you can hear that pumping. And if you want to do a fast attack, I prefer the slower attack on a side chain. You can really get the pumping. So you can have a fast attack and a fast release. And it just sounds like it's just right. It's like a brick wall, you know. 
slow that down. And again, you can see with your LEDs exactly what's going on with your signal. And then we can go back here and control it here, control the input. Just a really, really great way to do side chaining out of reason because use your auxiliary or 14.2, run that right in the mix channel. Now, a lot of people will put, will say, oh, I don't, I wanna, I wanna have my own favorite compressor and side chain through there. Well, you can do that as well. Yeah, that's, that's my quick tip. Uh, side chain, set up your rough mix and side chain, run that right into the, you know, run your auxiliary, run your auxiliary into your side chain and then, uh, and then do it that way. So anyway, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for more quick tips. Uh, Reason 9.1. Check it out.